Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is just a basic tutorial on how to convert a model from SketchUp into a model for Flight Simulator using Model Converter X. Um, model Converter X was created by some dude, I reckon his name is Arno. Uh, this version I've got running here is the current development release. Although by the time you watch this, there might be enough one out, so yeah, please uh, swing by um, seniordesign.org, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, the uh, link will be in the description, so if I've got it wrong, just comment and hound me for it. Please don't. Please don't. But yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to just bring a model in that I've made in uh, SketchUp. Um, it's got all its textures and everything. It's just a basic blast fence. All you've got to do is drag it from wherever you have it into the SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp? No. Into the Model Converter X window here. As you can see, it says uh, started reading a file. Whilst that's loading, I'll just give you a little bit of a, a rundown. Now, the differences between Google SketchUp and Flight Simulator are actually pretty slim. Um, in Google SketchUp, it's really, really simple to create 3D buildings of amazing shapes. And you can pretty much use any kind of image you like. You can use uh, BMPs, JPEG. What I tend to do is I tend to use PNGs because they're pretty decent in quality. And as you can see, there's nice definition on there. Actually, I don't know if you can see because my recording gear isn't that great. But yeah. This is my blast fence. Took me about 20 minutes to make, not even. And now I'm going to show you how to convert it. So it's all good for use in Flight Simulator 9 or X. Now the only difference between FS9 and FSX is you've got to export it as a different model type. But yeah, first we brought it into, into uh, Model Converter X here. We want to click on this little tool here, which is, uh, is uh, Material Editor. Click on that. It'll bring up a another window eventually. Sorry about this, my computer is awful. It it just is. There is no no doubt about it. There we go. Right, as you can see I've got three textures here. Alright, all textures are power of two, that means two, four, six, eight, you know the drill. Um these textures I believe are two fifty six by two fifty six. I know they're all 124 by 124, which is power of 2. It's necessary for Flight Simulator to have power of 2. So what you want to do is you want to click on the little textures tab down the bottom here, which will get you off of the properties screen. This want to come up first. You click on textures. You get all the textures available in that model. Um, I've got a current save point here, which is where the textures will save to once I fancy them. Oh, I must add though, you need to have image tool. Um, installed on your computer as well, just to work. Uh, I want to convert them to DXT BMP. If you're using FSX, you can convert them to DDS, but for scenery, I would definitely go for DXT. Now, once you've clicked on that, all you've got to do is hit Save Textures, and they will save to the folder you designated. Uh, it might take a while on my computer because the screen capture software eats my memory like no tomorrow. I mean, it really does. You haven't seen it until you've seen it. 94%, 95 and most of that would be capture whiz. Right now I'm putting out 26 of the CPU. But still, that's not important. Right, those have saved. And you'll see once they're saved, the screen will flicker. Probably. And you'll see down the bottom here it will say loaded texture. Loaded texture, loaded texture. and. I've got free textures, and it's loaded free textures, which is good. You can now just exit that, click on export object, uh, wait 10 years. Oh, there we go. Yeah, waiting 10 years pays off. I'm now 30, 32 years old. Well, you young, whip, you young whippersnappers out there can uh, marvel at this. I save my textures to this exact folder. You just can't see them. Okay, right. Um, down here you get your choices. We've got FS9 model or FSX model. Now, I only export for FS9. 
although it should probably start exporting for FSX as well. Um, but yeah, if you're using FSX, hit the FSX model button. Using FS9, FS9. Simple as that. Now I'm exporting FS9, it's called Blast Fence. Just save it. What happened now is you'll see uh, Make MDL pop up. Eventually, after another 10 year wait, I'm now 42. <laughs> Getting older by the minute. Okay, model. Uh, the make model thing appeared on my other screen, which uh, is sort of out of view for you. Yeah, make make MDL appeared on the wrong screen. Sorry about that. <coughs> but once it's made the model, um, it will compile it into the folder that you saved it into. Obviously, look at that. Um, finished writing file. Okay, once it's finished writing the file. What you can do is just give it a quick test in Model Converter X here. Okay, when you do that is to here we go, have a look. When you do that, this is your MDL file. I'm gonna just throw that into there. See how slow my computer is? You gotta wait another 15 years for this to actually work. I'm really sorry for the length of this tutorial. Like you guys must be getting on a little bit now. Okay. Right, I want that in the texture folder, and I'm going to want that in the scenery folder. This is just a temporary scenery and texture folder I've got going on here. Right, so, blast fence, now with a bit of luck. This should look exactly the same as that. Let's get rid of you. You notice that models, uh, MDL files load a lot faster than SketchUp files because MCX needs time to read the SketchUp file and transform all the little tiny pieces that need to be transformed into um, Flight Simulator readable. But, oh, there we go, look at that. Perfect. There is no difference at all, and um, by saving textures uh, straight from PNG from using SketchUp, the alphas automatically assign themselves. They've all automatically got alpha channels. Doesn't matter which one uh, which, what kind of picture you use. I'll give you a little example here. Right, this little leg at the back is just a completely empty um, picture. A completely empty picture with a grey line going down the middle. No background, save as a PNG. And look at that. It's just assigned the alpha straight to it. So yeah, that works. Um, after you've got the model, you can do whatever you want with it. You can bring it into the library, cre uh, the library creator, turn it into an object for placement. You can even place it with Model Converter X. FS2004 BGL Blast Fence, we'll click save. Alright, what that will do is that will just, com that will just compile the scenery and then you can turn the scenery into an XML file uh, dial in your location, altitude, everything you like and just pop it wherever you like there you go, I've got a BGL of it as well <laughs> fantastic yep. it's just wonderful although I may have messed up a little bit there on the export scenery yeah anyway that is how you convert an object from SketchUp through Model Converter X into an FS9 or FSX model. Fantastically simple, fantastically easy. All you've got to do is two things. One, save your textures. And two, export the model. There's one more step though, if you happen to use some of the default SketchUp textures. If you click on the um, material editor again, it'll bring it up, click on the textures. If anything is not in the power of two, you can always click on this button up here, which says resize all to the power of two, and it will, si it will resize the textures automatically. Then just select DXCBMP, whack on the save button, all done. Fantastic. Right, well, <coughs> thanks for watching. Uh, post your comments below. And um, 
don't forget to find that link in the description as well. You know, the link that I couldn't say at the beginning because I don't know it. I just don't. But yeah, post your comments below. Um, tell me what you think. Or should I say thought. And uh, anything you need, let me know. Thanks for watching.